Welcome to this tutorial on stress prediction. The objective here is to explain quantitative stress analysis, turning on plasticity or yielding during part level simulations. We can expect to get quantitatively accurate stresses and accurate mechanical response of the part when it's removed from the build plate by electrical discharge machining or EDM. On this slide, we see two different types of stress analysis for a part after removal from the build plate. On the left are qualitative stress results that calculate plasticity introduced by the moving heat source, but not part level plasticity. So we see high stress values and the part is not allowed to yield. When it's cut from the build plate, the stress induces more displacement of the part than what's realistic. On the lower left, the red surface is the simulation result and the gray is the experimental result, which shows less deflection. Beginning in the 2018 release of NetFab simulation, users can choose to turn plasticity on with quantitative stress results. These are shown on the right side of the screen, and it's obvious that the displacement shown is more reasonable. You can see in the lower right that the simulation result in blue is much closer to the experimental result in gray. In NetFab simulation, we see the results of a simulation. Let's see how to turn on part level plasticity for quantitative stress calculation before running the simulation. Click on Solver Settings on the Home tab, click the Results tab, and turn Structural Plasticity on. Doing this brings in the plastic strain results. To examine these results, go to the browser and turn on Cauchy Stress. In the animation panel, note that there are only two time steps shown. The first one is after the part is cooled, when part level plasticity is turned on, and the stress levels come down to more accurate values. You see high tension on the top of the part where it tried to cool and contract but was held back by the rigid material below. Then in the second time step, we see the EDM response, which shows some deflection of the part after wire cutting. In summary, now in this tutorial, we explained the value of quantitative stress analysis and showed how to do it in NetFab simulation.